Entering a crazy bear market, exiting the bear market. Breaking bull market doors and entering a parabolic bull run to all-time highs. Entering another bear market, exiting the bear market, and right now getting ready to break the next bull market doors for the next parabolic bull market to all-time highs that we're hoping to see. This has essentially been me tracking this crypto journey around six years on this YouTube channel and many of you on the same exact crypto journey with me. We're just trying to figure it out. We're trying to navigate. We're trying to invest for the success of our financial futures for our families. And along that journey, there is so much to learn on this volatile ride. This video that I'm doing right now is one of the most important videos that I do once a year now, basically. And that is to say how to do crypto taxes. When, when trying to plan this and trying to figure this out, crypto taxes and doing it properly and anticipating taxes, it is the absolute make or break in terms of whether or not you're going to be successful in crypto. It just is what it is. So this, vi this video is one of the most important videos that I will do all year long. It is sponsored by CoinLedger. CoinLedger has been such an absolute blessing to me. I want to walk through the CoinLedger product, how I use it, how so simple it is. And I'm going to really just demonstrate very quickly within minutes how I use it. And that is to say, hooking up to exchanges and getting that data off of exchanges without doing it manually, hooking up my Cardano staking address so that I can track the Cardano staking income without doing it manually, and also MetaMask, Ethereum address, and tracking what's going on in my MetaMask. These are like the main three ways that I use it. There are a ton of ways that you can use this. So please hit the subscribe, hit the like. Thank you so much to CoinLedger for sponsoring CCV once again this year. Love you guys. And let's just jump into the video. Want to just first start off, start off, it says crypto taxes done in minutes. And that is just what it is. It's crypto taxes done in minutes. And then at the end of the day, when you run a report, you can hook it up to whatever tax software you use. You can just send it to your CPA if you're using a CPA. And it really is that simple. So let me just jump right into it and let me demonstrate how it's done and what a report will look like. And then I also want to discuss tax loss harvest harvesting because, and this is not financial advice of any kind, but at this part of the cycle, before potentially we enter a parabolic bull run, we're still beneath all-time highs. We're exiting the bear market. I think now is a good time to at least think about it or at least understand what tax loss harvesting is. So here's the coin ledger. This is the report page. You can see there's nothing on here. So I want to start from blank for 2023, uh, for the year of 2023 taxes. And I want to go to import the first step that we have here. And you can see I have a couple things going on here. I have Coinbase, Coinbase Pro, and I'm going to bring into play, this is demo data. And I first want to start with Coinbase. So let's go to Coinbase, which we're on. All I'm going to do is hit browse file. I'm going to drag and drop a file. And by the way, you can hook an API up to just make sure this is done automatically. But you can also just get the instructions right here, read the Coinbase file import guide to figure out how to export it from Coinbase, import it into here. I'm going to upload the Coinbase demo, uh, CSV, upload, and it's uploading. And, and by the way, depending on what kind of data that you're upload, uploading, it could be very quick or it could just take a little bit. You can just see how quick that was as I'm talking. I didn't even need to edit this out. There's 835 transactions have been imported. And you can just see, we got some 2024 transactions. You scroll down, scroll down. There's some 2023 transactions. So that's Coinbase. Now, if I, if I move over to the side of the screen, because you can't really see it, and I just move this up, you see at the bottom left, add account. That is where we're going to be able to, we're going to click it and it's going to allow us to basically just choose what we want to do next, right? So it's going to give us all of these options. And what I want to do next is I want to search for Cardano. So bring up Cardano blockchain, you hit Cardano, and then you can see to the left of the page, it says Cardano right under Coinbase Pro. And all I'm going to do there, I'm going to click Cardano, which it's on, hit auto import, and then I'm going to paste my address here. After it's pasted, I, I just import it and we wait. And right now doing the same exact thing, 15 transactions have been imported from the demo address. And you can see for 2023, it's got some demo transactions in here. So the next thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to, again, add an account. I'm going to look up MetaMask that's right there on the front of the page. And I'm going to auto import and I'm going to 
find my Ethereum address, press sync transactions, and you can see it's auto importing right now. And obviously these are demo accounts, so there might not be as many transactions. And that's kind of why the couple that I've done so far have gone quicker. Now the Ethereum MetaMask address, you can just see 102 transactions imported, looks good. And you can just right off the bat, you can see the transactions that were just imported. None of this being done manually. And I can't even, I can't even tell you everybody <laughs> the headache and the stress and even the error that this, this saves a person and the time it's, you, it, it just can't be stressed enough. So I have all of those things done, imported, those main three accounts, Coinbase, Cardano, MetaMask. And then I can go to step two, which is transactions. And you can kind of just go through some of the transactions if you want, see what's going on here in the transactions, right? That is what it is. You, you go to step three, tax reports. And then in tax reports, you can see the, the stats have changed. They've gone from, I, I believe it was zero when we first started, and now there's three, negative $367 capital gains, $82.05 of total income. And then it'll break down what the income is. You can see there's staking income. You can hit staking and you can just scroll through all the staking income that was brought in through that data that we just did. And I'm doing this real time. I haven't even really, besides just pasting in my address, I've not really done much editing. This is truly how long this entire process takes. And you have your report here, just like that. What's really cool about the report is you can simply go through it and just understand what is what happened in 2023. If you want to click and see your short term uh, short term gains, you can see it. If you want to see long term, you can see it. Obviously, you can see some losses there in terms of long term, which would make sense for a potential 2023 report. And you really get a sense of your your just your general picture of your crypto tax situation. Now, obviously. When you all just enter different exchanges, because there are a ton of exchanges, if we go back to import and we click add accounts, just look at this. There's, there's so many different ex exchanges and blockchains that you can enter. So when you, when you enter this, this data into this system, the report will look different for everybody, right? But this is what a, a sample report basically looks like. And it just calculates everything for you. And I want to point something really important out. And that is to say, if you look to the right side, you can add tax professional. You can just simply invite your tax professional, whoever's doing your taxes, helping you with your taxes. You can invite them and give them access to your tax reports. Also, to the, to the right of the page, you can find your IRS tax forms, all the tax forms that you need. You can go hit tax filing software. You can, if you're using TurboTax or TaxSlayer, you can generate the report, the CSV report that TaxSlayer needs to be imported into TaxSlayer, just like that, based off of all of this data. And it's just click of the button and it's done. Now, in terms of us tracking our crypto journeys, right? And trying to navigate, trying to figure it out, trying to make the right decisions, there's a lot in terms of taxes. So I, I highly recommend you seek advice from a tax professional. Get somebody to really help you with your crypto taxes. Besides CoinLedger, I think, which will save tons of time and money, having a tax professional that can really help you with the ins and outs of how to do it properly, I think will also save a ton of money. One of the things they could potentially guide you on is something called tax loss harvesting. So basically, and I'm just going to read this, if you sell your stocks, real estate assets, or cryptos at a profit, you'll be required to pay capital gains tax. Everybody knows that. Some investors choose to reduce their capital gains in a given tax year by selling some of their assets at a loss. It might sound crazy, selling my assets at a loss. Why would I want to do that? Wait till you just look at the very simple example. This is called tax loss harvesting. And you can understand very quickly why this is more suitable, makes more sense to do in bear markets, as opposed to maybe at bull market highs and as, at, as crypto is breaking bull market highs. So right now, the IRS has this thing called a wash rule in place that's designed to prevent investors from taking capital losses and then immediately buying back the same stock. So incurring a capital loss on a stock is not allowed if you buy the same security 30 days before or after the sale. But here's the thing. The IRS specifically states that wash rules, wash sale rules only apply to securities. Cryptocurrencies are property not securities as defined by IRS guidance. And this means that as of now, it's likely that the wash, wash sale rule does not apply to cryptocurrencies. Now, this is 
the most simple example. So stocks right here is the first example. One, Tyler buys $1,000 of a stock. The value of his stock falls to $500. Tyler sells his stock, then buys it back immediately. Look at this. Tyler cannot claim a capital loss. Now on crypto, Ty or Julie buys $1,000 of crypto. The value of her crypto falls to 500. Does that sound familiar? <laughs> potentially to a lot of people. We're, we're all holding a lot of crypto through bear markets. So yeah, that does kind of seem familiar. Julie sells her crypto, then buys it back immediately. Julie claims $500 of capital losses. Such a simple process. And again, I don't want to sit here and give tax advice on, hey, go do this. But it's something to discuss with a tax professional in terms of how you're navigating your crypto journey, how you're doing your taxes, and how you're just finding the, the best ways to, to do things properly, right, in the right way, but also that are going to help you on your crypto journey to make sure you're, you're maximizing your, your tax reports and your returns and all the things that you're doing. So if we go over here, I just, I want to go over this because it is just, I can't say this enough. And it really depends on the tier. Each tier is really broken down to transactions, right? So the hobbyist, $49, $49. And you're getting this, everybody. You're getting the reports. You're able to come in here and do everything you need to do for $49. Now it's up to 100 transactions. It's, it's a no-brainer in my view. And then we go to investor. So transactions up to $1,000, $99. But each level, and this is just my view, this is my take, each level in terms of the transactions that you're doing in crypto, it becomes even more worthwhile to spend the money to do it properly and to make sure you are maximizing the return. And the fact that the most expensive one is 199 plus for 3,000 plus transactions, it's just mind boggling how good of a deal it is. It has been such a good deal for me over the years using CoinLedger. And I can't say this enough for everybody. Go get set up with them. If you want to just sign up with their free account, get started with them. 14-day money-back guarantee. Go do it, everybody. Hit my link below. It, it says crypto taxes done in minutes. And I can't stress that enough. You just saw it. It is done in minutes. They are one of the best products in all of crypto. Again, I love the team. Thank you for sponsoring CCV over the years. Keep doing what you're doing. I just saw this earlier today. CoinLedger joined the wait list of reimagined portfolio tracking experience. So track your digital assets across all of your wallets right within your CoinLedger account. So having all of the crypto tax stuff with portfolio stuff, it just is such a nice, just nice product. So sign up with them using my link, everybody. I appreciate you watching. I appreciate you just hanging out on the crypto journey with me over the years. I'll see you in the next video. God bless.